Hey everyone, it's Jackie and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today's video, we are going to be reacting to your guys' craziest hear me out theories after watching the London special. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, y'all really delivered with this. I have so many responses, it's crazy. So I'm gonna try to get through this as quick as possible, but no guarantees. Hear me out, Cerise finds a way to akumatize Alex as Bunnix, sense of sadness, etc. Ooh, that would be very interesting if Cerise got a way to Alex as Bunnix. That would be very crazy. I don't think that would actually happen, but if it did, it would be super crazy. Hear me out, Lila is indeed future Manon. That has to be true work with Tomo for real. I, for a split second, I thought that Tomo might have been the main villain for season six, but after seeing the special, it's definitely going to be Lila, like I originally thought, but I don't know, I saw some theories that people had and I was like, what if? I definitely do think that Tomo is gonna play a villain in some way. She might team up with Lila, who knows? I don't think she's gonna change. I feel sorry for Kagami. Hear me out. Adrian knows that Natalie knows Ladybug's secret identity. <gasps> that would be wild if he knew, but I don't think he knows, to be honest. I don't think he ever saw an interaction between Ladybug and Natalie with his own eyes, unless Natalie might have told him off to the side. I don't think that he would know, unfortunately. Our poor blonde boy, he, he, I don't think he knows, but it would be a plot twist if he did know, because that would catch me off guard. Hear me out, Adrianette will have conflicts after the reveal. Oh yes, they will. I would not be surprised if they temporarily broke up for maybe an episode or two. I can't imagine them like officially like calling it quits for like the rest of the season or the rest of like the few next upcoming seasons. I can definitely see them having conflicts for sure. They're definitely gonna have issues once Adrian finds out the truth about his dad and how Ladybug aka Marinette lied to people that he loves. He finds out that they lied to him about a big secret. So yeah, they are going to have conflicts for sure and might even temporarily break up for an episode or two. Okay, so no offense, Lila looks like a grandma. <laughs> I mean, she kind of does with the blonde wig. She definitely does not look natural. Like you can see like the wig like outlines, like I don't know, it's just weird, but she can pull off the look though. She looked really good, especially with her little purple eyes. She looked really good. She low-key ate, but I can also see why you think she looks like a grandma. I can see that. People saying that Adrianette will break up since Marinette is having things hidden from him, but basically if you think about it, Ladybug is the one who lied to Adrian, so that will possibly lead to Lady Noir angst, and Adrianette will stay together as long as Lila doesn't threaten Ladybug that she will tell Adrian the whole truth. That could also be a possibility. Like I said before, I definitely think they are going to have some form of issues because it's just... It's just going to be an issue. I can't see it not being an issue. I can't just imagine Adrian thinking like, oh, like, okay, it's all okay. I completely understand. No, he's he's gonna have some issues with it. I hope that he'll understand why Marinette had to do that to him, like eventually, cause it would suck if they had issues for like the rest of the season or more than two episodes. Like, I just don't want it to be too dramatic like that. I like a little drama, but not a whole season or two worth of stuff. We don't want a Ross and Rachel situation. Hear me out. Adrian and Marinette will break up and Lady Noir will become canon. No, I love Lady Noir, but I want Lady Noir together after the reveal. I want them to know each other's identity. I, I don't want it to happen that way. Like I love Lady Noir, but I want them to know. I want them to know. That's it. So 
yeah, no, I don't, I don't want them to officially break up and then, you know, for the next season, Lady Noir is together and then they break up, next season Adrian, I, no, no, that would be horrible, no, absolutely not. Ladybug will tell Cat Noir what really happened and that's how he will find out, Adrian will find out. I don't think that's going to happen, unfortunately. It didn't happen in the end of the London special, so... I doubt it's gonna happen in season six. I mean, I could be wrong, but I don't know. I just have a funky feeling that they're probably not gonna do that. Kagami not being over Adrian yet. I know she is with Felix. I mean, maybe she's temporarily using Felix as a coping mechanism. I, I don't know. I feel like her and Felix do have a lot more in common than her and Adrian ever did, so... I think she's better off with Felix, but we can't deny they they're literally twins. The only reason why she even fell for him was because of his looks and his personality, I guess. Hear me out, we will have akumatized Marinette for sure. <sighs> I can hear you out, but I don't think that's going to happen unfortunately. They haven't I just, I mean, if Marinette was akumatized, who would save her? Probably Marinette from another universe. Wait a minute, wait a minute. That would be kind of iconic. What if Shadybug from that universe came to save Akumatized Marinette? That would be very cool. I hope they do that. I hope they do that. At least for maybe like a special in the future. I don't know, I think it would be cool. Hear me out, Adrian's gonna have a villain arc. Oh boy, once again, I don't think that's going to happen because they're the main characters unless they're alternate universe selves like Claw Noir from the emo-verse. The emo-verse, yeah. Um, maybe he'll come to save him. I don't know. Um, like I said with Ladybug and Marinette last time, I think that would be cool for a special, but not throughout the seasons. Hear me out, I think the Kwamis can sort of feel time or know the timeline because we can see that Tiki was not surprised when Marinette took the Miraculous from the start of season one and also in Time Breaker. Yeah, I can hear you out with that one because they definitely can like feel time for sure. Like they've just seen so much from so many different versions of different holders. They're kind of used to this. So it's definitely not a surprise. It's funny how they always ask, when are we? Like they've just been through so much. Another one, this won't happen for sure, but Adrienette will break up because Adrian will find out that she lied. I actually think this will happen. I think Adrian is going to find out and there is gonna be at least an identity reveal because they're just foreshadowing it so much throughout like this season six, like through the synopsis of season six and the special. I just feel like they're foreshadowing this. And why would they continuously talk about something if it's not gonna happen eventually, you know? It's just like slowly leading up to it. Lila with different identities get Adrian or Cat Noir to fall in love with her and go against Ladybug. Whoa, whoa, oh my gosh. I I can't hear you out with that one because Adrian falling for Lila with a different identity? He can't be that stupid. There's no way. I will not believe he would be that stupid. He is so ridiculously in love with Marinette. He, no, he's a loyal boy. No, that, that's not gonna happen, unfortunately. I will not hear you out with that one, but I respect your opinion. <laughs> hear me out, Adrianette won't break up, but Adrian will find out about his dad. He'll go as a lone hero due to not trusting Ladybug anymore. Then Marinette will be even more stressed and lash out and stuff like that, which will confuse Adrian as to why she's acting that way, which will eventually lead to Marinette telling Adrian her identity and apologizing. Adrian will wait a bit to go back to Ladybug as Cat Noir so his identity isn't obvious. Oh my gosh, that is so realistic. That actually might happen. That's what it seems like it's leading up to. So yes, I will hear you out with that one. That's, that's a really good one. So hear me out, 
Marinette starts acting weird around Adrian again because she knows the truth about his father and she feels guilty. Adrian realizes it and comforts Marinette and she keeps saying that she's okay and they start lying to each other about their identities. Marinette senses that Adrian is hiding something so does Adrian Marinette and he decides to follow her when she transforms. Ooh. That could possibly happen. So I will hear you out with that one. You can especially see in the season six trailers that Marinette is just crashing out. She is spying on Adrian. She's going crazy. And we even got like a little bit of the script of season six, I think the beginning of it, where Luca asks like how Adrian and Marinette are doing. And Adrian's like, oh, we're all good. And Marinette's like, oh yeah, we're great. And you know, but she's kind of crashing out and Adrian's like, ha ha ha. He doesn't think of anything of it, but Luca knows something's up with Marinette. So yeah, that's what it seems like it's leading up to. Hear me out. The reason why Tiki always says Marinette is the best ladybug is not because what happens during the first season. She meant chronobug mug noir all the time because we know that Kwame see everything what the holder sees so she knew what happened to Chronobug and who Monarch was since the beginning. She also saw everything that happened to Bug Noir because Chronobug saw it all again so Tiki always talked about future Marina as the best ladybug. Oh my gosh I didn't realize that but that's so true. I will hear you out because I think that's how that's how it went. Last one. Hear me out. Adrianette is going to break up and Marinette will most likely be the cause of that because Lila or Cerise is good at manipulating and if she finds out about the rings and that Adrian is a senti, she can get her hands on them. Also, she can use this info to get Adrian, the only person who has never left her side, to turn against her and it might be to the point where she could get akumatized or it would just test their relationships. I definitely see Cerise doing something, whatever the heck her real name is I know she's gonna go by Iris probably when she enrolls in school again with all of them and it's just <sighs> why is she going back to that school just to make Marinette's life more miserable again she's gonna have to take a different approach she's probably gonna have to be nicer and I don't know this is what is her motive like what I just oh my gosh I we need an episode of Cerise, like we need an episode of her background and why she is the way she is, who is her real identity, what the heck happened to her, what like this just makes no sense at all but as y'all probably have seen my Lila is my known theory that I posted the other week, <sighs> it's just it would make sense if that's what it was, but we still need more explanation on why she's in this timeline. And yeah, so the writers have a lot of explaining to do for that one. But according to Thomas Astruck, he said that we'll see eventually. So have faith, guys. I definitely feel that Cerise is going to manipulate Adrian and just do as much as possible, even if she's undercover. She's probably gonna have to take a smarter approach to it than the way that she did last time. I just can't wait to see what they come up with for season six because it's going to be crazy. I'm definitely gonna need to grab some tissues for that season because a whole bunch of drama is going to happen. Okay, so while I have you guys still watching, before I end this video, I wanted to give a quick thank you to all who supported my channel since the beginning. I finally have gotten monetized on YouTube and I'm just so excited for what's to come in the future. I have memberships that I'm planning on rolling out very, very soon. So if you were wondering why there was an ad probably in the middle of this video, that's why, because I'm finally monetized. And if you would like to continue to support me in any type of way, just maybe don't skip the ads, just as a small way of supporting if you're not able to join a membership. But anyways, thank you so much 
for supporting me in any type of way even if you just watched this video all the way through i appreciate you so much and this is still just the beginning i love you all and i'll get back to the video now that's it for this video if you're new here please like comment and subscribe i post miraculous content and i made a brand new channel for my lifestyle content so if you haven't already subscribed to that channel i'll link it down below i hope you all have a miraculous day and i will see you on the next video. Bye!